morning everyone good afternoon good evening whatever time zone you're in where you're at leave a comment below where you're at that would be interesting to find so anyway today we're gonna um go through some jobs or careers i should say that would appeal to a lot of you um this is for federal government work some of these are work at home because i know everybody likes to work at home some of these are virtual telework so I work, I currently work for the government. I started off in the mail room and I have been with the government for 25 plus years. So I have a little bit of experience. I've um, moved around from agency to agency and um, I feel like if I get stuck, that's what I like to do. So this is where I go to find my jobs. I'm going to make my face look smaller because you don't need to see me. So you can see this is the type of job this is. This is a contract specialist, and we need to find out what you're good at, what you like doing, which are some of the tests that I have on my channel to find out what you're good at, what you like to do, so you could get in. Now, this is an entry-level job. It's not going to be $100,000 a year starting off. It's going to be get your foot in the door, get some skills, and you can move up. So over here on the side, it tells you open and closing dates, what you're going to make a year, how many vacancies they are, if they offer telework or at home or not. Most places are doing that now. If you're going to have travel, if they're going to relocate you, um, if it's a supervisor job, what kind of clearances you might need, if you need a drug test, all these things will be over here on the side. And if you want to save it, you have to create an account and it'll save it for you. And so anything else I can think of. This job is open to the public, individuals with disabilities. And if it's specific to the agency, it will tell you right here. That means you can't apply unless you already work for that agency. This is in case they want to pull somebody from the inside. So it's going to give you a summary about what's going on now. I think they stopped the mandatory COVID requirements. And I'll go through some of these other jobs um, or careers, I should say, um, on my channel. But this is the one I picked for today. So it's going to give you your duties. And like I said before, you need to know what you're good at doing, what you like doing. And some of the um, tests that I have um, periodically on my channel will um, help you decide and determine what you like to do, what you're good at. And you can also buy some online. Um, if somebody requests it, I will put a link down below on some tests that you can take. A lot of the better ones you have to buy. All right, so here's the requirements, and you need to be a citizen. Um, some of them require an education, but not all of them do, because this is an entry-level job. Now, this one here... What's well, a bachelor's degree? And they want the bachelor's degree in just basic business, accounting, or anything like that. If you have contracting, that's even better. So you can go based on just your education if you don't have any experience for this job. Now, when you do apply for the job, a lot of these have questionnaires. Um, this one's letting us preview the questionnaires. Let's see. All right, so this is like the, the questionnaire that you're going to have to fill out. You're going to have to go through if you're a citizen, if you're a veteran, if you got if you were in the military. If you're in the military, that definitely helps. Now, this is with the um, Federal Aviation Administration. So this is the FAA, which is really hard to get into, even if you've been in the government a while. Um, DOT is Department of Transportation, so if you work for the Department of Transportation, that will give you a little bit of leverage there. Um, it's going to ask you if you have any relatives. All right, and then it's going to go into some details. And it's good to see this ahead of time because that way you can go on to whatever word um, processing dot, um, application you use and type in something ahead of time because... Um, you want to think about it and you want to make it nice and 
you want to make this really nice because this is what they're going to base it on. They're not going to go on your resume right away. They're going to go on right here. You know, this is your ability to prioritize, plan, and organize and complete work assignments. So if you're not good at any of this, at organizing, prioritizing, and organizing work, this might not be the job for you. But if you are, you need to put it in paragraph form um, why you are. Now, I can actually assist with some of this if you have a hard time with getting this out in paragraph form. I can do it for, you know, um, 30 bucks or something. You go on to my uh, website and send me an email. I'll link it below if you're interested. So the next question will be ability to communicate ideas and facts in a clear and understandable manner. So this means tailoring your communication to your audience. So if you have all executives in the room, you're going to want to talk at a different level than if you have people that have no clue um, anything about business. Okay, so you're, you're going to tailor it to your audience. So if nobody knows nothing about contracting, accounting, you're going to have to go way low and talk like you're in Accounting 101. So do you have the ability to do that? Do you have the ability to um, adjust your communication for your audience is what that means. Um, now I'm talking to people that are looking for entry level jobs, not executives, who have never been in the government and want a government job. Now it's going to ask you what kind of experience do you have? Are you an expert or not? Now, just because you say I have a B or C and I don't have a lot of experience does not mean you're, you're not going to get the job. It goes by a lot of different things. Sometimes it goes by keywords, and sometimes it goes by the way you're writing out these KSAs. These narratives are kind of important. So you don't want to write in here, just look at my resume, because uh, if you put that in there, you're going to get ignored, and um, they're going to shoot you out. And you got like a lot of people applying for these jobs. All right, your ability to solve problems. Okay, this is your problem-solving skills through the combined cooperative efforts of self and others. So that means can you work, can you solve problems by yourself and with a team? And you need to give examples on these skills and abilities. You need to write it out in paragraph form and you need to describe some, describe some examples. Okay, all right, the next one is procurement practices and procedures. Now this is the main thing of the whole job. Like, do you have any contracting experience? Do you have an accounting experience? Um, anything with uh, money? Um, have you done any budgeting, bookkeeping? Anything like that would go in here. All right, so it's good to create an account, save it, and then if you know you're going to have to write... Now, you don't have to do this for every single job. This It's just that the FAA... Is very particular it's very hard to get into and they are looking if you cannot write out a paragraph and explain your skills then you're already going to be out so that's um, that's why they have that in there so you want to create a, an account save it write out all of these things beforehand and then just go in and copy them and paste them into this questionnaire you don't want to rush through this you want to think about how you're writing it out you want to get some help if you don't want to hire me you can always go on fiverr and maybe find somebody that's a little cheaper um i don't charge that much but you know if you want somebody for five bucks go go you can do that too i don't know what kind of quality you're going to get but you want to make sure that it, you know if you want this job that you um take the time to pay a little more. Now this isn't a hundred thousand a year, but it could go to a hundred thousand over time. It's better to start at the bottom and work your way up. Sometimes, you know, it's just get your foot in the door. You're not gonna it's easier to get your foot in the door when you're at a lower salary. I got my foot in the door in the mailroom and I, I mean that was like uh twenty bucks an hour or something. It was really lower than this. Now, this might be, it doesn't say, sometimes they only take the first hundred people. A lot of places will do that. And this doesn't have a cap on it, but sometimes they get thousands of people applying for these jobs. So you need to stand out. And um, if you need help with any, finding any 
federal government jobs, be sure and look me up. I'll leave my link in the uh, notes below and um, reach out to me. And if you need my assistance when writing any of this stuff or whatever, you can um, sure, sure hire me. Okay, and I hear at the top it goes through. You can hit these little tabs at the top. It'll go through a little bit quicker. All right, so that is my video for today. And I hope it helps somebody if it's looking for some different kind of work or more stable work, my job with benefits, then maybe you can work at home. You probably could work at home. I work at home almost every day. So, you know, um, some of the jobs you cannot work at home, but this might be one you can work at home two or three days a week. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. Please uh, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.